So I am in Carytown on Cary Street in Richmond, Virginia. I'm gonna try something I haven't done before. And people are always asking me, oh, like, where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? Well, it's no surprise, I love to shop. Most of my sh shopping's done, my personal shopping that is, is done online or with Rachel. <laughs> so uh, I never really feel like, hey, let me take you guys to the mall with me at Rachel. Like who wants to do that? Actually, probably a lot of people wanna do that. We have a lot of fun. However, this is one of my favorite places to shop for myself. We are not shopping for resale, we're shopping for me. So if that doesn't interest you, maybe skip this one and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. But I love super eclectic small businesses and actually my grandparents used to live in Richmond. Um, so I grew up coming down here every single weekend. They do have one of my favorite shops in the United States, which we will go to. Hopefully they let me film in there. Let's. Let's hope. Um, but in the meantime, let's give this a shot. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I've never done anything like this. Like I said, I'm usually just like an antique mauler. So uh, let's uh, take a stroll. Oh, I used to love going to Carytown Dolls and Bears. And they actually had a ballet shop. I feel like it's not here anymore. I feel like it was upstairs maybe. Um, I was obsessed with red ballet shoes when I was a kid. Uh, my, <laughs> I used to go to the library and rent that movie, The Red Shoes, every single week, which is like actually really dark and depressing now that uh, I'm older and understand what it's about. No, it was up here. Yeah, I was obsessed with red ballet shoes and I made my, my parents get me a pair even though I have never done ballet in my life. <laughs> Yeah, a lot has changed down here. I mean, it's been a couple years since I came. It's been, I used to get all my Christmas gifts here, um, but then living in Pennsylvania and stuff, it became kind of a trick. Uh, this used to be a really fun little gift shop. Looks like it's a men's streetwear clothing store now. I love this small town vibe down here. I will say it's almost completely different than, uh, it was when I was a kid, although I know some staples are still here. I'm kind of excited to uh, see what clothing shops they have now. Oh, Lulu looks cute. Looks expensive, but that yellow scarf is uh, very appealing to me. I think I'm gonna go in, check it out. Yeah, I love this yellow scarf. Oh my gosh, $48. It's so soft though. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> I see feathers. I love feathers. This is a kind of fun top. How much are these? I feel like it's January, so things might be on sale. 60 and 30% off. Hmm. So not quite for me, but kind of up my alley for sure. What are these t-shirts? Not much of a graphic tee person. Pink feathers. Yes, please. 90 bucks. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic too. Love the rhinestone straps on that. Ooh, that's a fun sweater. Gosh, it's so soft. I'm a sucker for handmade cards too, um, which is what the gift shop down the street I'm going to does best. So much fun stuff. Oh, I wish I lived near a place that had handmade cards like this. Like rooting for you, that's so cute. Also, I kind of want to know who makes this couch. It looks very nice and very comfortable and it's like the perfect shade of pink. Well, Roan looks uh, super pretty, but also super expensive. I can already tell they have like a thousand dollar pair of sneakers in the window. <laughs> Oh, maybe not for me. Although, what's back there? I might as well go check it out anyway. Why not? That's the thing when I shop, I never know what I'm going to find where in real life too. So however expensive I thought that place was, trust me, it was so much more. The one thing I saw that I really liked was, well, two things, was a checkerboard beaded headband that was $300, say no more, and uh, a $500 leather jacket. Maybe Zest will uh, be up more at my alley. Oh my gosh, I love this headband. That is so fun. The orange one is my favorite, but 42 for a headband. That's not for me. Fun lemon pajamas. Ooh, they are not soft though. I can't lie, I don't remember it being this expensive here. Uh, a lot has changed. Oh, Valentine's Day chocolate shop. I should not go in there. 
Now, I do remember Can Can being a staple restaurant. I loved going to this place. It is so good. It's French cuisine. Oh my gosh, how cute is that little cupcake shop? Oop, car. And of course, the Galaxy Diner, another staple that's been there for a while. Wait a minute, what's this? Pink and sparkly. What is this? Oh my gosh, how fun is that? 79, extra large. I love the enclosures on it. Mm. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. Stop it. That is so fun. This is a really fun jacket too. The color is kind of weird. <laughs> Fuzzy fanny pack. Huh. That was an interesting little shop. Um, kind of a resale place, more curated, which I like. That would be really fun to do, but I feel like it's really hard to make money doing that. Fun game shop. That place has been there forever. Another staple of my childhood, Plan, Plan 9 Records, the best CD and cassette store ever. Um, I used to love going to Lex's. Oh my gosh, that gold beaded dress. Stop it. Ugh, I'm gonna go in here for old time's sake. Well, very pretty, but not exactly what I remembered. They used to have an upstairs that uh, had what is this? Linens. We don't want linens. They used to have a bunch of stuff. Pizza. Oh, there's a uh, World of Mirth, my favorite gift shop. Finally, right next to the vintage clothing shop, which is so much fun. What is this? Oh my gosh, these hair clips are so cute. $16. Okay, but these beanies, so fun. I picked out the mustard one. It's uh, $18 and I think I need it. Oh my gosh, they have the bucket hat version. Rachel would die. It's not very nice quality though, honestly. The beanie's even lined with fleece. Oh, I love the little rhinestone cherry hair clip and this freaking backpack thing, that is tight. Oh, they have a bunch of mini backpacks. I guess they're not that many though. Oh, happy daisy socks. I kind of want to get these for my gentleman friend. They look kind of small though. They look like women's. These are fun too. I love that they've got different colored pom-poms and they're only 12 bucks. Oh my gosh, the gray one's so cute. Yeah, that was a really fun shop. Definitely unexpected. Wait, there's more. Gosh, I'm never gonna make it across the street at this rate. All right, that's where I just was. What's going on here? This is not the same thing. Oh my gosh, I love the hat. Shut the front door, how cute are those? I can't wear them though, they got nickel. Yeah, you guys, this is my favorite, one of my favorites, I should say, gift shop. Look at that giant lava lamp, that thing is sick. Yeah, I used to love coming and picking out a trinket from this. I actually still have one from when I was a kid. Yeah, they have the best cards here. I used to get all of my cards here. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, so fun. I love handmade cards. Like this one, so cute. Oh, love it. Frida Kahlo gift wrap. Like, I feel like I need that. Dolly Parton card, super important. I still have a few of the Dolly Parton cards I bought here years ago. I have a hard time getting rid of them, honestly. Christmas unicorn socks? Leg lamp stickers? How fun. I feel like, I wonder if I could get these now and not lose them by the time it was Christmas time. Okay, like these hair clips, picky. Moody. But this one, butter noodles. That's amazing, we're gonna put that aside. Sour and sweet, picky. Looks like, what's this one? Honey, bunny, jelly bean. Those are cute, but I'm kinda into this buttered noodle hair clip. Um, I feel ridiculous buying this for myself, but it's hilarious. 
little happy macaroon stickers so cute ah oh, i kind of want this but i'm not sure if i need it for 16. i'm gonna put it back and walk around oh that's cute too what's happening over here oh wow the doritos necklace that's hilarious what are these funny little figurines i've never seen these before Huh. I have to say, those Cheeto earrings really take the cake. What a fun vase. Now, where did that giant lava lamp come from? That's what I want to know. These curtains are kind of fun. Hmm. The fun box. Zoltar tin. Running out of time. Uh, I didn't find anything there. Oh my gosh, look at that freaking dog. Um, this place is amazing. It's been a long time since I've been here. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. $95. Absolutely beautiful. Um, all right. Nice little trip down memory lane. It's more menswear and jackets than I remember. Pull hard. Oh. They are not kidding. All right, where are we gonna go next? There's like a little vintage clothing shop down here. Bygones vintage clothing, so much fun. Look at this headband. Oh, it's like a turban thing. I love the checkerboard heart dress. So fun, I just bought a dress with a collar the other day and I never wear them, so I'm gonna pass. 68, this is what I'm here for. Oh my gosh, so much fun in here. Love the lighting. Like what? I love these glittery tubs. Oh my gosh, and Rachel would die over these. Well, you're never gonna believe it, but this is actually the dress I bought for myself the other day. I wonder how much it is here, do I wanna know? kind of curious you know i have to find out that's so crazy 72 dollars. that's so funny i paid 40 bucks but whatever this is is fantastic oh my gosh love this thing this is probably gonna be the last place i go before i fight traffic up 95 mongrel was one of my favorite stores here and it's valentine's day so they probably have some pretty cute stuff just kidding it's closed on tuesday that is a big bummer oh well guess it's time to uh head home should i go back and get those buttered noodles hair clips they were pretty spectacular yeah i kind of have to grab them and i'm gonna get some fortune telling fish too but also look at the peewee playhouse oh my gosh so cute all right it's time to call it a day i'm like putting myself right in rush hour